we cannot continue to you know, grow food the same way that we have been due to climate change, water scarcity, you know, as well as our population growth. We need to find new and um, innovative ways to produce food. So I started growing my own food about five, six years ago. So when I was looking at my own produce, I told myself, you know, how wonderful it would be if I can bring fresh, nutritious produce, you know, um, to families, to cities, uh, basically to feed the country. Above Farming Partners is a unique collaboration between entrepreneurs from the Netherlands and Singapore. So we have come together to bundle our forces to design a unique and sustainable urban farming concept to be used in cities and mega cities, of which we have decided to roll in Singapore first. If nations or if cities are dependent on food imports entirely, then obviously food is not able to come in to feed the people. And indoor farming can change this. Indoor farming can empower cities to be able to grow their own food and to be self-sufficient and in a very impactful, very significant way because of the ability of indoor systems to, to be able to generate large amounts of produce. Indoor farming, um, doesn't require a large vast of land. A small farm like this with about 640 square meters cultivation area can generate 33 tons of vegetables every year. Singapore is a very small country, so obviously we don't have enough land apportioned to agriculture. So right now, more than 92% of our produce is imported from all over the world, but the government, they decided that we should have this 30 by 30 vision which is to be 30% self-sustaining in terms of uh, produce by year 2030. Other cities and countries can learn from Singapore in being um, more open to alternative ways of growing because we have this issue of land scarcity. Singapore is in a way forced to embrace new ways of growing. This gorgeous, nutritious, fresh and crisp lettuce is what makes me hopeful.